Violet Elementary School and today we're here with Angus. We're about to work with some first graders and tell us what we're going to do. Um, every week Angus goes down into Miss Cornelis and Miss Wham's first grade classroom while they buddy read and they also read to Angus. So Victoria and Lily are here to get Angus. So here girls, let's go. in a first grade classroom with Jan Cornelis and Gwen Wham. Now we're going to show you Angus in action. Tell us how the kids have responded to Angus so far. What kind of changes have you seen in their behavior? Well, they're very motivated by having Angus in the classroom and, you know, we've just seen a real peace come over the classroom and, and mm -hmm. they're just um, reading better and very excited every time he comes down to the classroom. Mm -hmm. They look forward to Tuesdays. That may be their favorite day of the week. They love <laughs> Angus and they really respond to him. So what does Angus do when he comes into the classroom? Well, we get um, the children to pick him up for us and then he comes on in and he settles down and then in order to be fair, we draw a stick out of the container so that everybody gets a turn to read with Angus. So they all know they're going to get a turn and he just hangs out with them and they get to read with him and sometimes we let him stay in during writing too, in fact most of the time and that's motivating, they really, that's motivating with their writing as well, just his presence in the classroom. Um, one little girl in particular comes to get him at her PE time and puts his harness on him and puts his leash on him and she walks him and takes him around the school. This morning when she got off the bus she asked me, where's Angus? Is he here today? And that's just a huge, huge, huge um, success, success for her because she was just petrified of dogs. Oh, This is Shanautica Jones, one of my prize, prize students. And Shanautica has a very special story but about her relationship with Angus. Shanautica, tell us about it. Um, when I was, this spring, or last spring, um, I was scared of Angus and I didn't really want to stay in the room with him, and now I can't. And how have you overcome that fear? What have you done? I've walked him outside. I have also um, pet him, spent time with him. He comes into our math class, doesn't he? Yes. And that's helped a lot, hasn't it? Yes. And when he first came in math class, you wouldn't let him near you, would you? No. <laughs> and what would happen if Angus got near you? What would I would you do? probably start crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was tough at first, wasn't it? Yes. It was really, really tough because you were scared of dogs. But as you spent time with them, you've become good friends, haven't you? Yes. Yes, you have. Very brave young lady. Miss Stacy's proud of you. Teresa, thank you so much for having in, us in your school today. We really appreciate getting to spend some time with Angus and getting to see the work that he's doing here. And we appreciate you being here. As you can see, we're very excited about what Angus does for our children and the relationship he has with our staff and our students. And I'd like to encourage everybody that has a dog to get them involved because they're so helpful to people. They're therapeutic, and they're just a very, very positive in many people's lives. Thank you for being here. Thank you.